We have seen a lot of movies with a lot of sci-fi action and out-of-the-world vehicles which are electricity-powered. Some movies are too good to be true, but yet we are yet to expect those big changes. In this video, we will be talking about the future of trucks, vans and delivery vans. Some big players in the automobile industry has taken a huge step towards building the commercial rigs which are electrically powered. Some have already manufactured their trucks but only to a limited private organizations for testing, while some are promising to release soon. Here is the five companies TO keep an eye on as they promise TO deliver their technology. Number 1. Daimler Trucks. In 2018, German automaker Daimler, the largest truck maker in the world, announced its all-electric 18-wheeler, the Freightliner Ecoscadia. The big rig has a 250-mile range and was designed for regional transportation and port service. Daimler's other all-electric model, the Freightliner M2106, has a 230-mile range and is intended for more local distribution and deliveries. The company also has an all-electric box truck, for urban deliveries, and a school bus in the pipeline. Daimler said it's expecting to have the Ecoscadia and M2106 in production in its Portland, Oregon factory in late 2021. Given that the company, best known for its Mercedes-Benz brand, has a 40% share in North America's approximately $39 billion heavy-duty truck market, it'll be interesting to watch whether Daimler will be a leader or a laggard in the race to all-electric delivery vehicles. Number 2. Nikola Motors. Whereas many know that Tesla Inc. was named after Nikola Tesla, the Serbian-American inventor who created electric motors, few are likely to be familiar with the Phoenix-based startup that got the naming rights to Tesla's first name. However, over the past five years, Nikola Motor Co. has slowly but surely emerged as a pioneer in this space. The company has created the Nikola 1 and Nikola 2 for North American roadways, and the Nikola Tray for Asia, Australia, and Europe. Each semi-truck will be available with either fully electric or hydrogen fuel cell electric capabilities, and their anticipated ranges are between 500 and 700 miles. The company has yet to publicly release exact pricing for each of its three semi-truck models. To refuel the tens of thousands of hydrogen-powered big rigs it plans to put on America's roads, the company plans to build a coast-to-coast -coast network of 700 hydrogen stations across the United States by 2028. To put that into perspective, according to the International Energy Agency, there are currently about 400 hydrogen fueling stations worldwide. The company says each refueling station will use electricity from renewable energy sources such as wind and solar to extract hydrogen fuel from water. It will take between 10 and 15 minutes to refill one of its semi-trucks. More so, the company wants car makers including Daimler, General Motors and Toyota to use its fueling stations to expand their own hydrogen fuel cell vehicle sales outside of California. Number 3. Tesla. Given Tesla's leadership with EVs, it's no surprise the company is at the forefront of replacing diesel-guzzling, long-haul big rigs with all-electric, heavy-duty semi-trucks. Tesla first announced the Tesla Semi in 2017 and said production would begin in early 2019. That production date later was pushed back to late 2020. There are two Tesla Semis, one with a 300-mile range and one with a 500 to 600-mile range. According to the company, the expected base prices for those trucks are $150,000 and $180,000, respectively. To put that into perspective, a typical Class 8 diesel Dacia B starts at roughly $120,000. The company also says the Tesla Semi will have a two-year payback period. That's taking into consideration fuel savings and the fact that the Tesla Semi will have fewer systems to maintain compared to diesel vehicles. The Tesla Semi has for Model 3 derived electric motors, which will allow it to accelerate from 0 mph to 60 mph in 20 seconds while carrying a full load, roughly 40 tons. The truck can maintain that 60 mph speed while traveling up a 5% grade. The company claims the Tesla Semi uses less than 2 kWh of power per mile, and a future convoy mode feature will allow multiple Tesla Semis to semi-autonomously slipstream, further reducing drag and increasing efficiency. Number 4. Volvo. 
Volvo Trucks has developed a zero-emission truck called the VNR Electric that is intended for regional use in North America. The company reportedly began highway road tests in 2019, IT has said commercial production and sales will begin in late 2020. Although Volvo invested $400 million into its new River Valley, Virginia, factory to assemble the trucks, VNR Electric will hit Southern California's roadways first, five already did in 2019. In 2020, a total of 23 battery electric Volvo trucks will run routes in and around Los Angeles, including the cities of Ontario, Chino and Fontana, as well as the Long Beach and Los Angeles port complex. VNR Electric is part of Volvo's broader low-impact green heavy transport solutions, lights, initiative with California's South Coast Air Quality Management District, SCAMD. According to a company statement, the $90 million pilot program, half of which is funded by the California Air Resources Board, is part of California Climate Investments, a statewide initiative that funnels billions of CAPN trade dollars toward reducing greenhouse gas emissions and improving public health. Number 5. Workhorse. The company is behind the Workhorse W15 plug-in electric pickup truck, and it's also developing an all-electric delivery van called the C1000. Workhorse is reportedly building 950 electric delivery vans for UPS, most likely in the former General Motors plant it purchased in Lordstown, Ohio, in November. Where Workhorse really stands to grab headlines this year is with the United States Postal Service USPS. That's because the USPS is moving forward with long-delayed plans to award an estimated $6.3 billion contract to produce 186,000 new mail trucks over the next five to seven years. That's nearly double Amazon's order for Rivian's all-electric delivery trucks. Four teams, split across six companies, compete for the USPS contract, India's Mahindra Automotive North America, Turkey's Carson slash Michigan's Morgan Olson, American companies Oshkosh slash Ford, and Workhorse. The companies are barred in their contracts from publicly commenting on their prototypes, but two contenders are fully electric and at least one of the other two is a hybrid model. Well that's IT from the US, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and share the video. See you in the next video.